In our last two examples, we have data sets that are going to fail the conditions for an ANOVA test for different reasons. We'll look at that and then see how we would use the Kruskal Wallace test then as our backup for when the ANOVA test isn't appropriate. So in example two, we have information on the number of methamphetamine lab incidents by region. So the United States is split up into four different areas, mass west, midwest, northeast, and south. So the first step would be to assess normality. In this case, the p-value for the west data set would be less than 0 0.0001. So that data set would fail the conditions for normality. So the conditions would not be met to use an ANOVA test. I'll leave it to you to fill in the blanks with the hypotheses and the conclusion, but you should be able to verify that. We only need to report the p-value for that one data set because as soon as one data set fails, then it doesn't matter. The conditions for the ANOVA are no longer met. So since the conditions for the ANOVA test are not met, we will instead conduct a Kruskal-Wallis test to test the following hypotheses. So in this case, we have four data sets that we're dealing with. So our null hypothesis would be that all four of those medians are equal to each other. And the alternative is that at least one median is different. So again, a very similar setup to the ANOVA test, the difference being that we're testing a claim about medians now instead of means. So with our data already entered in, we can go to non-parametrics and select Kruskal-Wallis. We'll select all four data sets and click Compute. In this case, we get a p-value of 0 0.0004, which is going to be less than our value for alpha, which is 0 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis. So there is sufficient evidence to conclude that at least one population median is different. So in the context of the data, what we're saying, if we claim that each US region has the same average number of incidents per year, we cannot support the claim that each region in the US sees the same average number of incidents per year. But again, we still have the same issue as in example one this test doesn't tell us conclusively which of those areas has that statistically different average. It doesn't tell us if all four averages are statistically different from each other, significantly different from each other. Um, all it tells us is that at least one median is different. Some further investigation would be required, some additional testing, some additional analysis to determine which one is different and how. So in our last example, um, again, the conditions won't be met to assess, um, to conduct an ANOVA test. All four, all three of our data sets in this case will meet the conditions for normality, but they won't meet the conditions for equal variances. So I'll leave it to you to verify that the conditions are met or that that normality condition is met. But when we look at these three different areas in Las Vegas and we're comparing average income from gambling in these three areas, We'll just say that the normality requirement is met. But again, you'll want to be sure that you can verify for yourself that that is indeed the correct conclusion. So the next step then is to verify that each population has equal variances. So equal variances or standard deviations. So we'll select summary stats and columns. 
and calculate our standard deviations. So our largest standard deviation in this case is 127.2. The smallest is 54.2. So the ratio of the largest standard deviation to the smallest will in this case be 127.22 divided by 54.25, which equals 2.35, which in this case is greater than 2. So we cannot assume this condition is met. So since we can't assume that condition is met, we have to say the conditions are not met for an ANOVA test. So instead we'll use the Kruskal-Wallis test to test the following hypotheses, which will again be the same in every case, the only difference being how many population parameters we have to consider. So in this case, we only have three to consider. So the null hypothesis will be that all three of those medians are equal to each other. And the alternative hypothesis will be that at least one population mean median is different. So we'll again select the ANOVA test, or the Kruskal-Wallis test, select all three data sets, and click Compute to generate our p-value of, in this case, 0 0.0011. So that is less than our value for alpha, which in this case is 0 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis. So there is sufficient evidence. So there's sufficient evidence to conclude that the to conclude that at least one population median is different. Meaning revenue from gaming is on average not the same in all three areas. So in this case, the claim is not supported. Again, the test isn't telling us which one is different, if they're all different, if it's different because it's larger, if it's different because it's smaller, just that there is some difference. Some further analysis or investigation would need to be employed to get to a stronger conclusion about which one is different, if they're all different, and how they're different from one another.